Hey everyone, welcome back to Engineering Education. For this next problem, we have a lossless transmission line problem. And suppose we have this circuit here where we have some source Vs with a source impedance of 10 plus J10. And suppose that we have a transmission line with a characteristic impedance of 50 ohms and our load is also 50 ohms. Here we're asked to find the magnitude of Vs, so that's the magnitude of the source, given that the voltage at the load is 240 volts RMS. So as always, pause the video, give it a shot, and we'll go over the answer in a bit. So to solve this, we see that this transmission line is matched. So it's matched. And that means that the impedance of the load is equal to the characteristic impedance of the line. And when you have this impedance matching, you get that V in is equal to VL. And similarly, you get that I in is equal to IL. And so the circuit then just becomes your source VS, your input impedance 10 ohms, and J10 and your ZL, which is just a resistor of 50 ohms. And we have here V out, or we can call it VL still. We'll change it to VL. And so we can do voltage divider on this. We know that VL over VS is equal to 50 over 50 plus 10 plus J10. And then we can flip this. So I'm just going to flip this, go VS over VL, because we are solving for VS is equal to 50 plus 10 plus J10 divided by 50. And I'm going to multiply both sides by VL. So I'll get rid of this. And that gives us Vs. And so we can solve this. The top here is going to be 60 plus J10 divided by 50. And we're going to multiply that by Vl, which is 240. And when you do that and turn it into polar coordinates, we get 291.97 volts and the angle is going to be 9.46 degrees. And so we're looking for just the magnitude, so that's the 291.97. And that is our answer. So the important thing to remember from this problem is that anytime the transmission line is impedance matched, meaning that the output or the load impedance is equal to the characteristic impedance, Z0. We get that the input voltage is equal to the load voltage and the input current is equal to the load current. And so that simplifies the problem and makes it a simple voltage divider. If the line was not impedance matched, then it becomes a little bit trickier and you can turn to the FE handbook where they have an equation that relates Z0 to ZL whenever the two are not the same. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a video a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already and share this with your friends or anyone else you think might benefit from this information. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, enjoy engineering.